He's sort of like a choreographer of a ballet mingled with a sculptor. You actually just get sucked in and hypnotised by his work. The more you look at his work, the more you see the layers and the fascination that his eye for detail. I didn't even really start off as an artist, you know, I just started off as a kid uh, drawing. But at some point it became obvious that my ideas were more based in movement and I was probably going to have to use different mediums to, to really capture what I was thinking about. So I made a switch in art school from, from painting to video. I was asked to represent Australia in Venice but it was a very different project because it was all really focused uh, in outback Australia. and I recorded a lot of the works in far western New South Wales, just outside of this town, Broken Hill. But it was, I guess, very famous for being like the location for many films. Places like Silverton and Mundy Mundy were the locations for Mad Max 2, um, Razorback, Priscilla. The locals call it the Outback Hollywood. Sean really is in his, his mid-career. He's terrifically powerful body of work already, but he's somebody whose move, work is constantly moving forward. And we wanted to give Sean the opportunity on the really large scale of our big exhibitions gallery to take that work forward. And I think you'll see the works down there, both the sound and image, are, are tremendously powerful. This whole show is really obsessed with this idea of mirroring and doubling. A lot of performances that are simultaneously recorded in the same space and that's really why I called it stereo sequences. Personally I'm very interested in people who are working with aesthetic experiences that are very pleasing. I like something that has a texture and a richness to it but you don't just want something that's a uh, visual eye candy and I think the best moving image artists, people like Sean Gladwell, are working in a, a f way that really has multiple layers in it, whether it's formal aspects they're exploring or whether it's aspects of the moving image itself. And I think Sean is somebody who does this to an amazing degree. I guess it's always about movement, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty uh, fascinated, maybe even obsessed with like the human body. I'm also interested in different kinds of prosthetics, you know, the extensions of the human body, like whether that be vehicles or bicycles, skateboards. I guess I love the idea that there's different kind of movement languages. So like, say, a pole dancer is very different to say, a, like a classical ballet dancer. But actually when they're spinning, um, it's possible to see as many connections as, as there are differences. And I, I like that idea that you can analyze these different different forms of movement. What I'd really like to see the audiences coming to this exhibition see is Sean's work taking a new dimension, a new dynamic and being encapsulated and taken on that journey with Sean. But through that I think you'll be seeing something that moves the practice of the moving image art forward itself. I'm always interested in working with um, film and video still. I guess I, I'm just always trying to push the idea of the performance and the way to represent it. So I can't talk about anything specifically uh, that hasn't been made yet, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's still going to be chasing this obsession that I have with movement.